Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're Ranger and Win, and our videos are all about gaming and gameplays, figure unboxing and reviews and other geeky related stuff. So uh, feel free to check them out and um, if you like them, consider subscribing because that would help us out a lot and we'd really appreciate that. It's been quite a while since our last um, figure unboxing and review, mainly because of the holidays and all the other stuff that's been going on around and basically we just wish um everyone has been staying safe and healthy uh, and uh, we decided to just um rest a little bit some more <laughs> um but yeah we're back and um we've got um a lot of uh figures uh ready to unbox and to review for this channel uh, and also, um, we know that it's really late already and like, you know, the first month of the year has already ended. Uh, but um, we haven't had a chance to uh, greet all of you a Happy New Year yet. Um, well, Lunar New Year does count, right? Hi! Akemashita We'd like to thank uh, everyone who supported us for the past year and uh, we hope that you continue supporting us uh, this year. Um, moving on to today's video, this is the first uh, figure unboxing and review one for this year and we're pretty excited about it. Um, we have uh, the Sosai Shoujo Tein uh, figure from Kotobukiya. And uh, this one is for the character uh, Madoka Yuki. This is not gonna be a typical unboxing video because we have to build it. Like seriously. Um, if you're familiar with Gunpla, yeah, Gunpla model kits. This is a model kit, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this one uh, was released back in uh, October of last year, and uh, there, I believe there are three characters in this lineup. Um, even this one, this character Madoka Yuki, uh, she has like um, other variants as well. But I decided to get this one because I really like her character design, especially her uniform. So yeah, she looks so pretty in the box. Um, so this is gonna be, imagine, uh, this is gonna be like Gunpla and Figma combined. Hmm, interesting, right? So if you want to join us in unboxing and building this uh, cute um, model kit, then uh, just keep on watching and let's get started! Alright, so here is uh, the box. It's got a really, really pretty uh, illustration of the character Madoka Yuki um, in her high school uniform. This is really lovely uh, with all the uh, sakura flowers at the top. And it also shows the uh, name of the series, Sosai Shoujo Tein, uh, the name of the character, as well as um, at the bottom left, kind of like her signature or something. Let's see, so cool. Anyway, so this side has the you know a couple more information about the um, the, the company, the product itself, uh, a QR code, um, some you know illustrations or sorry photos of the um, face plates. Different face plates right here, and also the decals you can see. You have to attach even the, the eyes. So yeah. Also the the figure after it's been assembled. Um, size of that. Yeah, same thing. Uh, same illustration is with the um, front panel. Ooh. Okay. And the other side shows um, you know different poses of the character. It's really cute, actually. Um, Face parts and also um, hair parts, uh, um, different poses like skirt parts. Oh, yeah, also okay. And uh, you've also got accessories. 
accessories right over here. She's she has a a phone, a K type, <laughs> and um, the quintessential Japanese high school girl bag. Okay, yeah, I guess that's it. The bottom just you know there has the company information as well. Okay, so uh, here we go. All right. So we've got the different parts, just like um, a gun flap. This is for the uh, skirt and the face, the face plates, the bag, hand parts, hair parts, more hair parts, the legs. The torso and oh okay so it's a stand and what else do we have here um the socks and the shoes what's this oh okay hair accessories i presume yeah all right and what else some more hair accessories joints oh okay oh wait a minute and then, oh, okay, so I was so worried <laughs> about how to place uh, the decals for the eyes, but it turns out that it's already got a pre some pre painted um, face plates. And then, oh, okay, so here you go. Here is the, here are the decals for the um, face. Okay, and here, of course, is a little pamphlet with and you know the, the instructions oh okay look at that just to show you a bit yeah okay just the instructions and how to assemble her okay so um i have ranger to help out because if i do this alone it's gonna take me three hours or longer or longer yeah I think the longest <laughs> We've ever built a Sinanju and Gundam Sinanju and Unicorn, yes, yeah, the, the Master Grade. grade. Yeah, yeah, it like took us all day. I mean, we're not really pro. We're, we're, we're gonna be honest. We're not really pros to add. Uh, I mean, we've built a number of gun plus already, but you know, we're not really yeah, pros. pros. Yeah. <laughs> we're not, we can't consider our pros mm -hmm. at it. So yeah, now. We're gonna speed things up a bit because again, we don't want this to turn into a two-hour video. Yes, I think we, it took us two days, and <laughs> maybe six to eight hours each for both. For both. For both. Uh, yeah. Uh, unicorn and Sinatra. Well, to be fair, it it was our they were our first master grade. Master grade it, yeah. We like uh, we didn't expect that it's gonna be that um, intricate difficult. <laughs> yeah. and difficult. Yeah, and you know we we didn't have proper tools so this time. <laughs> I hope this makes things easier for us. Yeah, yeah. let's just get it on. Alright, here we go.
So we <laughs> are almost done. Yeah, just assemble the this is the leg. Okay. So shoe. Okay. Oh, this one. Yeah. And the shoes. The shoe. Sorry. Uh, this is by the way the left leg. Leg. Okay. Wait. There you go. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we're finally ready to assemble. But uh, first things first. Just you know, have a quick look at each of the parts. So this. Is her um, smiling face and with the um, with the long hair? Uh, we just followed the we, we bas basically just followed the instructions and the um, uh, guide. In this one, but pretty much you can just yeah. I mean, it's up to you which face plate you want to. Um, go with the hair part this is her um what's this surprised face and with the um ponytail okay so this is uh, her twin tail head and we decided to go and put the this is kind of like annoyed <laughs> Cinderella type face. So you still have the, um, the spare one here, kind of like a shy, embarrassed face plate. Here's the torso, and then uh, the arms, the legs, lower part. Yeah. Basically, there are three skirts, so two you can use uh, for you know any standing uh, poses, and then the sitting one. It's got its own lower body part. See, specifically for that, you like you can't move it. So yeah, let's go ahead and assemble this. Yeah, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Getting confused. Okay, so once you've got, I, I I guess I'll go with this one. Um, this way. This one. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> or is this one? Which do you want? Head of flowing, flowing, windy day kind of thingy, you know. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna be. Oh, by the way, this is the bag. Like, this bag. How cute is that? Uh, we already attached the hand. Okay, I, I actually attached it all wrong. Yeah, it's pretty easy, right? Okay, so once that's done, just, okay, this is for the. Left arm, right arm. Okay. Her head. All right, there you go. And we're done. What's your articulation? Um, at the head, the arms, and uh, of course, the torso has no mobility whatsoever. The legs. Alright, 
there you have it. And here is the completed figure. And look how cute she is. Like after two hours, give or take. Our hands hurt, my my fingers are sore. But uh, I, I think it's all worth it. Now, just a couple of things that I'd like to point out about this figure. Uh, the material, um, the sculpt, the paint job, they're great. Everything is smooth. Uh, I guess the only thing that you gotta be concerned about is uh, the edges. Uh, especially the uh, joints or the, the, the parts that are connected to the plastic frame thingy. Plastic frame thingy. <laughs> Those edges, you gotta sand them down a bit so everything is smooth and uh, connects properly. But you just gotta be, uh, you just gotta have to be careful of uh, some of the parts because they're thin. The plastic is thin and is prone to breaking, uh, including the joints. <laughs> These are very tiny. Like that's the thing. I, I guess it's my only problem with this figure. Like. If you're uh, used to doing Figma, you know how there are so many tiny, tiny parts there. Um, uh, Gunpla can be a bit more forgiving when it comes to that. Uh, because this ones, they, they are tinier. So, yeah. Also, uh, there are a few parts that aren't painted yet. Um, like, for example, her bag, uh, her hairpins, the uh, Keita the mobile phone yeah you gotta paint them by yourself which um probably i'm not gonna do because i'm a lazy ass like that <laughs> also we um i haven't tried uh putting the decals on the face yet because my hands are shaky and i'm terrible at that kind of thing but i'll probably i'll give it a try um sometime soon now, um, will I get the other uh, characters? Uh, I'm not yet sure, uh, but I'm eyeing this. This is her. Uh, this is uh, Madoka's uh, winter uniform, um, and I'm eyeing the summer uniform uh, that's coming out uh, this March. It's a very, I would say, it's a very interesting. And the experience overall, we enjoyed this activity. Uh, I guess if you are a Gunpla fan, you like building Gunpla model kits, and uh, you know you're also collecting uh, figures of cute high school uh, girls, anime high school, anime style high school girls. So then, uh, yeah, this I, I guess you'd uh, also enjoy this, and you'd also want to consider. Uh, getting this. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and uh, stay safe everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!